You know hockey, right? You know Roblox, too. What if? Roblox hockey. Well, I'm not good enough to make that, so instead I'll make a tycoon. What Tycoon is, for those who aren't 12, is just a game where you buy things with buttons to make more money to buy more things. And if you saw my last video on Roblox games, then you know that I suck at making Roblox games. So I decided to make an easy game, and I don't know, not a, not a simulator, because that would take a very long and would take a while and be very hard to make. I also didn't see too many hockey games out there on Roblox, and if you don't know, I play hockey, so that will make the game way better. But since I don't know anything about coding, I decided to watch a YouTube series on how to make a simulator. So thank you to Rusty Silly Bands for making this great guide on how to make a tycoon. He explains it very well, and this video definitely couldn't have been done without him, so if you want his link for his channel is in the description. So, without further ado, here's... So, I started by making the base plate, and getting all the essentials, and making folders. What I've learned about coding is that it's good to keep everything organized, in order to make sure you don't get confused, or lose anything. After making all the folders, I started making the foundation, then making the owner door, which didn't take too long, and claiming the tycoon, which took a bit longer. And I also made it so there was this thing at the top that said what their name was, which was pretty cool. Then, after that, I started making the conveyor belt, which only took a few minutes. But then I started working on the main point of the game, which is the droppers. But I decided to make them hockey players dropping pucks instead of just normal old blocks. And instead of going into a yellow brick collector, it goes into a net which took a while and ended up with this hockey guy who looks great. I finished off the day by adding some cool text above the pucks to see how much they are worth. Then I went to bed. After waking up, I spent two hours on working on the game. And here's what I did. Adding buttons. Uh, it wasn't too hard. Making the cash collector wasn't hard either. Or even the upgrader thing. But... The game passes, that's what got me nervous. Cause it took like half an hour to figure it out, but now I got a two times coin game pass and a gold guy game pass. And now for the hardest part of every game, we added data saving. Now some tycoons don't have data saving, but I like the idea of saving your data and when I update the game, I don't want people having to do it all over again. So I had to do that, which probably took the longest so far. I know it won't be the last time I spent hours on something, but that really took a long time to make. Like, probably three hours. After that, I made a colorizer and a materializer, which just makes the puck a different color or a material based on if you click on it. After that, I started making the rebirths, which was kind of hard because the tutorial I was watching did them two different ways. It would have a multiplier to your coins every rebirth, and the other was it would give you a rebirth token, which you could spend on special buttons. So what I did was I put them both into the video. And one of these special buttons is a photo of my cat. And if you send me a photo on Twitter, then you'll be put into the end of the next video. So, but anyways, next I made the teams. And I based them off hockey teams in the NHL since it is a hockey tycoon. I started making the actual tycoon because I finished all the videos. And now I just have to build the stuff for the tycoons in order to finish doing it. I made a map border and I made some trees as well with an invisible wall so you can't leave the map. I also had the weapon that is the last thing you can buy in the game, so if you beat it, then you can kill a bunch of people. Just don't let the other people get it. I will be adding updates to the game hopefully, so this won't be the full finished game, but I hopefully will make it better and better with every update. And after some few hours of just watching YouTube and making stuff, I finished the Tycoon. And now all I had to do was make the icons, which I think turned out also great. And with all that done, I uploaded the game and got the ads ready. Before making the ads, I want to make some predictions. First, I think this game will do better than the last two games I've spent ads on. I also think that I'll maybe make half of what I spent on the ads back. I'll be spending 400 ads on a banner ad, and this is the banner ad that I made. Once again, another masterpiece. 
So anyways, now I can run the ad. So I did that. Now I just gotta wait one day. Oh, it's done. So it didn't really go to plan. It did bad. Well, not just bad. It did shit. It got 33,000 impressions, then 43 clicks and 23 visits. No one bought anything and overall, it was a fail of an ad. But now, with that banner ad done, I didn't feel good about it. So I took some time, I made a better banner, and advertised that for another 400 Robux. So I guess now I have to wait another day. Oh, it's done again. Now this ad got 47,000 impressions, and 81 clicks, and 34 visits. And once again, no one bought anything. So this was also a fail of an ad, but it did better. None of my predictions were right, so I'll have to figure out how to make a good ad next time. In hindsight, I probably should have made the icons and the stuff for the game way better, instead of just, you know, making it look like it was made in 3D paint. Also, if you were wondering, the sponsor ads have changed, so they're kind of in the weird ad menu, and you have to use real money and not Robux. Uh, yeah, it's really weird. That's why I didn't do that this time. So, since I made my last game, there's been a lot of updates to Roblox, and one of these are these cool analytics. So, here's some stats. So, the average players were 4 over the time, and they averaged 15 minutes in-game, totaling to 1.1 hours. Everyone who played the game was either from Canada or the US, mostly being from Canada. And with that done, let me give you my thoughts on this experience. When I started making Roblox games months ago, I thought it would have been easy. But now, after three game attempts and over 50 hours on game development, this is way harder than I would have ever expected. Now, this won't be the last time you'll see me trying to make a game, but for now, I'm going to try and understand Roblox more and get a better idea on how to make a good game and I will come back and make the best Roblox game ever made it will have the best icons the best ads for the game and it will be the biggest Roblox game ever made so be prepared for that if you would like to play the game the links in the description the next video is going to be a good one not Roblox related but a good one and maybe like and subscribe if you really want to, you can buy a membership. It's only $2, but that's your choice if you really want to. Don't do it if you don't feel like it. Just don't expect to Roblox game content. So anyways, bye.